time. Next time, baby. While the world is listening, Gilly the Kid told a story about us running from Lil J one night on the parking lot. <laughs> Gilly the Kid, you remember that wrong. You have never been in the car with me. Uh, my first gun charge was in Houston. You can look that shit up. Yeah. And Lil J, we have nothing but respect for that man. And he ain't got nothing but respect for us. Yeah. We have never had to run from Lil J, man. Never. You hear me, man? So get your story right and go back online and say who, who you was really with that night. What up, y'all? It's Coffee. Tapping back in, man. And it's Gilly the Kid out here losing all credibility we know gilly's a co comedian he's a funny man ha ha you know making funny faces and all that extra ish he does but real talk um you know when you're on that podcast media tip you can't be a full-blown cap artist lying every chance you get right i mean people gonna get sick of that at the end of the day and you heard eight ball and mjg there took the opportunity right in the middle of the verses and real quick y'all comment and let me know what y'all thought about that verses obviously there wasn't like that competitive nature like we saw with locks and dipset when the locks just ether body dipset like put them to shame we've been over that already or bone and um bone thugs and uh three six was it was it bonin yeah bonin three six mafia i believe you know they got to scrapping and all that like it, it wasn't on that type of time it was all just celebrating the music you know the south just doing their thing it was lit r.i.p pimp c i mean man so many classics between both of these uh duos hip-hop duos slash groups however you want to refer to them but not getting too off track with all this is that you know i was just uh going on that bit of a tangent there uh you heard him he said who was you really with like whoa like what's that all about you know what i'm saying was gilly obviously it's something uh you know that eight ball is alleging that gilly left out of the story that might not make him look the best and, um, you know, Lil J, that's uh, J Prince's son. I don't know. Like, comment if you heard that whole story that he's referring to that Gilly had told before. Saying they ran and was shook and all that. I don't know. But when I'm talking about the credibility thing, okay, this is a dispute between them. Uh, we don't know what exactly happened that night. But we've seen some other funny style situations from Gilly recently. Like, that's what I want to know if y'all think he's a full-blown cap artist. Because uh, two other situations I'm going to name. Situation one, recently uh, an old situation from way back. You know, when Gilly was in a dispute with Cash Money Records. He was bashing Birdman and Wheezy. You know, talking about they owed him money. Um, every chance he got, he, he was saying basically he was the cause of wayne's newfound success with the carter because i think most people will agree when the carter rolled around lil wayne was uh pushing kind of a whole different style lyrically and everything he just had a whole new swag about him and then he went on to become the lil wayne that we know today you know who many consider and hold uh as one of the goats right i mean he killed it he, he really did with the with all the carters all the mixtapes um he it was next level what he did well gilly was talking about yo i wrote those bars he was wearing my major figures chain in the video etc etc he was going hard all over the internet way before this blog era you know what i'm saying recently that conversation came back up or something like that and mac main you know even pulled up old footage showing when they ended up getting around each other and not to mention since then Gilly's been asked in a few in, uh, interviews. One is on the Tag Stone podcast. There's some other ones out there. Comment for those who've seen those uh, situations where when he was asked, he basically, I don't want to say he recanted on everything he said, but he wouldn't even speak of it. He was claiming they gave him his money, so now he is laying off them. But, uh, you know, many people were alleging that it was all BS. It was all fluckery. And it's like, yo, if you really were the the if you were ghost writing for Wayne and all that and then you weren't on with good uh you weren't on good terms with him anymore at that point how did he still go on to get 
better as an MC without you. It makes no sense. Then recently we got the situation with Wiz Khalifa where Gilly lost his Instagram page. And let's keep it a buck, man. Especially like people lose their hip hop or their IG pages every day, B. We hear about this all the time. IG's on some whole other ish of straight up fluckery. Milk 7 Ford unlost 74 pages in seven months or something. I don't know. I try to make a joke there. But real talk, he lost a lot of pages among a lot of other people. Instagram just be dead in people's pages left and right. Gilly lost his page right recently after Wiz Khalifa was uh, posting some gym videos and pictures and whatnot where he was wearing some real wild, funny style suspect shorts. I will agree with him on that. Like, pause. What was that all about? Like, But uh, he went on to claim Wiz reported him got his 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 ish deleted he claimed that he alleged they had a conversation in but you know where where he was talking about oh you sensitive as fuck you all in your feelings Wiz this that and the third and he he claimed that Wiz was like yo I can help you get your page back and Gilly was like no I don't even want like Wiz went on to say yo that's a full-blown lie I didn't have him lose his page um we we didn't even spoke we speak we had a couple dms and he was acting immature and funny style. So now we got this situation. And again, this is a dispute. I'm not going to act like I got inside knowledge of what really happened or not. But you see 8-Ball, MJG, 8-Ball felt um, enough of a way about this that in the middle of the verses when he knew the whole world was watching to address Gilly and say, quit lying, tell the world who you was with. And with all this being said, it's like, is, is Gilly the kid? Just a full-blown capper. Like I said, a cap artist. Don't tell the truth. I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. But again, in this media world, if you you know tell one lie and it looks funny, people's going to press you about it. Two, three, it goes on and on like that. It could kill your platform, you know. So hit the comments. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Let me know what you think uh, about what I'm, uh, you know, talking about here with the capery and all that these numerous situations that just seem like gilly can't tell the truth if his life depended on it and let me know if you think that'll hurt his platform and also let me know if you you know uh are privy to what eight ball and mjg were referring to this story that that they say that you know uh gilly told that they claim is full-blown false and who do y'all think he was with hmm i don't know Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub to the channel. More importantly, though, join the discussion. Y'all know what it is. It's Jay Coffee Talk. We talk music, news, sports, and more. I'm about you. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And I'm gone.